right. Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome to SketchUp Live. It's Friday. We're live. We're SketchUp. SketchUp Live. And it's Friday. <laughs> That's it. That's all the things. Uh, I apologize. I uh, Earlier during setup, I hit go live and then canceled it. So uh, yeah, if you're on the other stream, hopefully you come back <laughs> If you're back in the wrong here. place. <laughs> I'll, I'll say that loud. So if you're in the other stream, you can hear me. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, I think Colin's oh, running around and gathering hands. people up. Yeah. Okay. Oops. Uh, it happens. That's probably not the first time I say, I'll say oops today either. So we'll see how that goes. Somebody tally. Keep keep track of that. Uh, yeah. Colin's, Colin's deferring. I apologize. That was on me. That was technical. This uh, The service we use to multi-stream. So we stream to four different platforms at once. So from one stream coming out of here, we hit Facebook, LinkedIn, uh, Twitter, and of course, YouTube. And uh, we have some limitations. Like if you accidentally hit the stream button and then hit it again to stop it, that stream's <laughs> over and we have to start a new one. So yeah, that's how stuff's going. But those of you who have made it and hopefully more coming, uh, looks like you're chiming in from all over the place, which is pretty sweet. So uh, Slovakia. We got some uh, India, Germany, Hungary, Ooh, more Hungary, uh, LA, France, Halifax, Denmark, Syria, Norway. Wait. Wow. The Halifax messes with me because I just I think of Nova Scotia, not UK. You can't have more than one city in the world named the same thing, can you? Well, I don't know. There's a Vancouver in the US and a Vancouver in Canada that are 50 miles apart or something like that. That seems like that, that one also really... confuses me. Somebody yeah. should do something about that. We should probably start to put some government money into that thing. Yeah, a campaign. <laughs> but hey, welcome, guys. That's not what we're here for. We're here for SketchUp. Let's do some modeling. Uh, today, I want to pick up something. We've done this many, many times in the past, and it always ends up being kind of a, a fun uh, process. I have some CAD modeling examples, some files I downloaded. Uh, they're actually on our forum. Jody can share a link in the chat, uh, forums.sketchup.com. And you can actually download these images if you want to follow along, or if you want to come back and watch the recording later and follow along, that's cool too. Just hang out now and enjoy yourself. Maybe it's like Friday afternoon or evening where you're at and you're not, uh, you're not moused in hand. That is perfectly cool because this recording will be up forever and ever. So you could still watch it in for on a Friday afternoon or evening in sure. the future. That's right. Ooh, yeah. Comment if it's Friday that's not August 18, 2023. I don't nice. know why, but I just something I, I like that. For some reason. You, you'll never remember to come back and look for comments. Oh no, no, probably not. Well, if you did, hey, good job. Um, so yeah, so we're gonna go through and we're gonna do this. The idea of this practice is to take something that is very specific and exact in its measurements and go in and model it inside of SketchUp. Um, it has been pointed out that one of the images I uploaded is lacking some some dimension. So I'm not gonna do that one first. We'll come back to that. But uh, yeah, let's let's hop in and let's model some stuff. Oh, hey, I didn't introduce myself. I'm Aaron and that's Jody. <laughs> Hi, Aaron, I'm Jody. Hi, Jody. Still. Yeah, I guess we assumed you guys have been here before. I shouldn't assume that because we do have new people every single week. Uh, my name is Aaron Dietzen and I'm going to be modeling. And my buddy Jody Gates is going to be hanging out with you guys in the chat, sending links and telling me when something good happens in case I'm head down and not paying attention. I might tell you when something bad happens. I'll tell you. I don't know. Feeling a little saucy. <laughs> Jody feeling saucy. What are the odds of that? All right. Um, yeah, so I am going to just start by importing. So what I'm going to do to import... I'm going to go to file. I'm going to go to import. Logical, right? And then uh, on my desktop. Oh, man. It does this. Do you guys ever get this where it, it uh, decides not to show your desktop shortcut? I don't know what the, the, I have a newer computer. And for whatever reason, I can't seem to get my desktop shortcut to stay on the side. I don't know. Mac woes. I'm gonna jump past number one, which is the one that's lacking some information to our image number two. I have not modeled this. I haven't really paid very good attention at all to what is going on here. But uh, 
let's let's hop in and let's do this thing. All right, this is a crazy part. So here I have a 3D isometric view, but I have this front view, top view, and then a section cut right through the middle. Uh, this should be, this is not actually, it's got a lot of pieces here, but it's not that complex of a shape to model. So what I, what I right, see, I'm oh, sorry. That top right picture reminds me of like that little brain game where is it a, is it a duck or is it a bunny? Oh yeah. Turn or is this it a way. crow? Quack, quack. I'll turn this way. It's a bunny peeking out behind a corner. There you go. Um, sorry. Yeah. I distracted That's you. No problem. Uh, it's going to happen again, Jody. All right. Um, yeah, let's do this. So what I see when I look at this is, first off, this half circle right here. This goes through the whole length. This goes from here to here. Uh, that is the whole length of the, the piece. Then it's got like this rectangle coming up here, here, rectangle coming out the side, and then this piece coming out the side, circle on top. So it's really a bunch of shapes kind of welding together. So we're going to treat it as such. We're going to actually model this as solids and probably use solid tools. I'm going to use these dimensions that are in here and I'm going to model them as millimeter, or I'm sorry, as meters. SketchUp doesn't like really, really small faces. So if you model millimeters, you can run into issues there. But in this case, I think it's going to be okay to uh, bump this all up to meters. And then when I was done, I could always do a scale to scale it down to real size. But we're going to model this as meters. So I'm going to, first thing I'm going to do before I do anything else is I'm going to go into my model info. I'm going to go to my units. I'm going to say decimal, and we're make everything, ah, meters, meters. I actually want to change all of these, I guess. I'm not going to probably pull any measurements, but. I, th I think we should have a, a running game as we do this where people try and guess or hopefully more accurately explain what it is we're modeling. Mm. I like Without that. Without a glance. What is this thing? I got no idea what that thing is. Well. I hate to spoil it for you, but by the time we're done, I'm pro we're probably going to get closer to figuring it out. But I'd love to hear <laughs> your ideas. <laughs> uh, yes, n solid tools are native. They are part of SketchUp. Uh, SketchUp for desktop. Um, I am going to turn off enable length snapping. That, uh, I don't like that on. Uh, and then I'm going to start modeling. All right, like Why I said. Oh, go ahead. Why was it on? Uh, you haven't used this since you got your new computer? I haven't used it a lot. I have not done a whole lot of modeling. In fact, I have I have not set up my shortcut keys on my 3D mouse. I have not installed my key logger that shows what I'm hitting. Uh, so yeah, I'm definitely behind. I should I should have more happening than I have happening right now. I I am I apologize. I feel bad. All right. Okay. I'm over it. We're good. Let's move on. Um, all right, so let's look at this. So the first thing I'm noticing is this lip right here doesn't seem to be dimensioned anywhere. See that? That's the spot I was going to start with. Uh, I seem to be missing some information there. What are the odds? Odds are pretty good. That's one thing I found that as we do these, these, a lot of times we download these drawings and these drawings are intended for, uh, students to practice modeling. Uh, for CAD. So a lot of times I think it's very intentional that pieces are missing. Uh, in this case, this thickness of this piece right here is, is not there. But I wonder how close we could get to figuring that out. So one thing I might do, I want to check all, all my views. There's uh, several people commenting that your overlay, your chat overlay, messes with the whole flow of getting to use this. Is it hard to turn that off? Um, can't do it midstream, can you? Oh, I can do whatever I want. <laughs> there we go. Look at that. Look at all the space. Look at all so much room wow. for activities. Yeah. So many things. All right. We got power. We got it all. Um, <laughs> <laughs> all right. So one of the things we can do, and this is to come into to play a little bit later, uh, is if I look at this, so here I have 70 plus 60, that's 130. Get look at that, that. you just put that in your head? What? I've grown. I'm I'm not the same modeler I was during the pandemic. Uh, okay, I did that ahead of time and wrote a little note. There's a sticky in my mouth. 
<laughs> so I'm gonna draw Every a line. That you may <laughs> just... possibly need to say later. It's just up on your fourteen. <laughs> oh shit, wrong Important spot. Numbers. Oh, <laughs> You're done. All right. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna draw a line right here, and then I'm gonna select the line and the image and make it into a group. So then I'm gonna double click to enter the group, and I'm gonna use my tape measure from one end to the other. I'm gonna type one. 30 <laughs> <I> forgot. <laughs> and then hit enter. but that's not at that point it's not math it's it's memory that's just memory not, yeah that's just that's, that's just old that just sucks yeah old guy stuff that's just that's how it is so when i do that it's going to scale it up so that's now it's now in meters the reason i grab that line and i put it all in one group is i didn't want to scale the whole thing i just want to scale the image and by doing that i'm assured that just that image changed size so now what i can do is i can come in here and i can just Draw a line from here to here, and I can see about what that is. So it's about 13. Um, I'm saying about because I don't have, there's not points in this. It's not a vector image. It's just a bitmap. So I don't have points I can snap to. And the issue, I was, I was kind of was kind of laughed about this when I work, used to work with paper plans a lot. You know, we get like a, a C or a D size set of plans, and everybody would talk about the accuracy and everything. Let me show you something. So on this line, if I just draw a line from here to here, that's almost a full meter thick. So when we talk about pulling dimensions off a plan, if I start from the middle of this line to about the middle of this line and I get 13, about 13, I'm feel pretty good that that's 13. Um, because taking measurements off of drawing, you're not looking at accuracy at all. Um, so there. <laughs> all right, let me model this thing right here. I'm going to start right there and I'm going to draw a line uh, over 30. I'm drawing line 30 because 30 is half of this 60 right here and then I will draw a line another 10. Why 10? Because I know that the difference between this and this inside is 3. So I have right here uh, I want to get 3 so now I have a line from here to here is 3, line from here to here is 10 and then from there back to the middle should be 27 done all right now what i can do is i can grab a circle i'm going to use 48 sided circles for my my model and i'm just going to pull three of them one to here one to here one to here what's so great about 48 sided circles um i'm, I'm glad you asked <laughs> thanks for asking uh, I don't think I did that right. I think they still ended up as 24 sides. Oh no, that's right. Yeah. All right. Um, so 24 is the default circle. 24 is what, what, what the, what SketchUp defaults to 24 segments. Um, 24 is fine. 24 ends up being a little bit, maybe if I do in a real big arc, it looks a little bit jagged. So I bump up to 48. I do like that whatever number I use, what I try to do is always um, always go in increments of four. And the reason it's four is because then I can work off of a quadrant system so I can actually come up here. I know that there's a point right up here at the top of the arc because I drew it at something that's evenly divisible off four. It means there's also a point on this side, this side, and if I'd kept the whole circle straight down here at this side. Um, and by doing increments for them, I just assured there. So 48 is twice what 24 is, and it's still on that uh, full four dimension. So that's why I got there. All right. Um, I'm going to move this over to the side. And this whole arc. Uh, is I just lost my chat, so I got worried. Um, you still there, Jody? Uh, yeah, I'm trying to go and fix. Remember how you broke the link earlier? I'm going to try to fix that on the forum. Oh, shh. Nice job, new kid. <sighs> uh, yeah. So I'm gonna so I'm gonna pull this whole thing up. This 85 right here, and then. What happens, I got this little bevel here that is a, a 30 degree bevel. 
Uh, so there's a couple ways I could do this. I'm, I'm trying to think of the best way to do this. What I might do, I'm going to triple click and make this a group. Draw a line like this. Grab that line. I'm going to rotate that line 30 degrees. And what that does is that tells me exactly where that should meet. So then I can come back into the group, grab this arc, and drop it straight down to that point. That gives me, with no, no mathing, I get that line at the right side. So again, this in its own group, draw a line straight across, grab that line, rotate it 30 degrees, and then that's the line I wanna come up to, so I can grab, come into context, Grab this, move it up. Whoops, not that. Not the whole face, just that part of the arc. Let me pull it up and go there. All right, that gives me the bulk, whoops, of my model. All right, it yeah, does. Yeah, I'm sitting here pouring, pouring through this, trying to, trying to prove, trying to find where it actually says any of these, some of these dimensions. This, that is one of the most egregious uh, lacks of dimensions we've had. Usually we can figure it out pretty easily. Yeah, that's it's like the middle piece. But uh, uh -huh. all right, let's uh, let's carry on. Um, let's let's do this little bump out over here on the side. So if I was to grab the center line here and come this way 70, that, and I'm just gonna draw a couple lines just to close up this footprint real quick. I guess it does say 13. I was confusing myself. Yeah, it is, you can see where it says 13. Okay. <clears throat> In the top right, that yep. top right picture. Oh, yeah, I think it is there. Yep, 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 right. yep. So this piece, uh, if I look down on it from above, looks something like this. By something, I mean exactly like this. So I'm gonna grab all of this, come slide it over here so I can copy this. Uh, so what I got so, here, let's see. Mm -hmm. Bill was wondering or noticing that you uh, you type the dimension instead of just snapping using the, oh, yes. the protractor. Do you have a reason yeah. for that? Um, probably. <laughs> I type dimensions. Who knows what when, that reason is? <laughs> I type dimensions all the time. I I don't. Uh, yeah, I never assume that I can snap to the right spot. I would just rather be. The problem is, I might have. So like this. Here's. Oh, this is actually happening by itself. As I move this cursor back and forth, see how that little dot is just jumping? It's just jumping back and forth. Not much. Like like a pixel or two. It's hopping back and forth because I have multiple snap points in there. Um, so whenever I'm drawing a line, whenever I'm rotating anything like that, if I want it to be precise, I type the measurement in the other thing, and this is pro this might just be me, but a lot of times what I'll do is I'll get the mouse exactly to where I want it. And then the process of pushing the left mouse button down will scoot the mouse just a little bit. And yep. it is mouse up with most programs that actually enters the click. So it's at 15 degrees when I push down, mouse slides to 18 degrees and I release. It's now 18 degrees. So I will generally, if if I ever have the option, I will type in the dimension rather than trying to uh, try to figure, you know, I, I'm good enough to click on something. I'm not good enough to click on something. All right. Good question. Though. That's a good question. I'm going to draw this line down 55. And there's that. And then this just has these little, uh, Five meter forty five. So I'm just drawing down line down five, line up five, connect those two together and erase the rest. Then I have this right here, this little so what I'm gonna do is I can come to this point right here. And I'm inferencing, so I don't have a point here because I just chopped it off. But you can see when you start, I can inference from this point over to this point and then grab that line. Now that's at that outside edge of that 45, that's at this point. And then I can come in 
And from that 10.5, I can come down 20. Then I can come across 14. And then I come back up 20. Why did I go across 14? Because this has a radius of 7. So 7 from the center to the edge. The edge is 14. I do my two times tables pretty good. Then to close this up with an arc, I'm going to use a circle and just draw that circle like that. And I can just erase these pieces. And that piece is done. It does have a thickness. It is 15 thick, so I'm going to pull it up 15. Five. And you'll notice it doesn't actually collide into the sur this surface right here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab this face, just pull it in. I want to pull it in so that it laps into the face, but doesn't come all the way through. I don't want to pop out this side. So I, I might uh, try to like snap maybe the middle-ish, somewhere like that. There we go. Because what I want to end up doing is I want to use solid tools. So I'm going to grab that, make it a group. And that's not currently solid. This piece right here, also not solid. So we need to do a little bit of cleanup. What's going on? Wait, 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 hold up. That didn't look like a right. That line shouldn't be there. Stuff got silly. Things got silly. Oh, you know what this means? Oh, stitching. Yep. You, Hold on. You hate stitching them? Give me my moment of zen. Oh, yeah. Click, 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 click. Erase. Oh, look at that. Whoops. Erase too much. Ruined my zen. Good thing I got well, other go. opportunities. Yeah. You ruined my zen. I was right. getting to have. So, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to actually not stitch the rest. Those of you who have been here before, I enjoy that stitching part of things. Uh, I'm going to turn my in geometry off. I have a face on the inside that I want to get rid of. So I'm going to select that face, delete it. Then I'm going to grab this face, and I'm going to use mirror to just copy it right over here. And I'm guessing. I'm not sure why that happened, but it did happen on both sides. So I'm just going to delete this all together. I feel I like the same stitching thing. was actually was actually faster. I, that was pretty quick. So I'll put this to give me a center point. There we go. In in this example, anyway. Yeah, not always true. I agree. I agree. All right. So now that I've done that, this is solid. So I come into this guy. I don't know why why he's not solid, but let's let's find out. You, I'm going to go to Component Edit and Hide Rest of Model, which is giving me just this. Oh, there we go. Got an edge just floating around out there. That's probably what it was. Solid group, solid group. I'm not going to join them together yet. I wanna, we'll, we'll do an outer union or something like that once everything's in there. But uh, that's, the direct, that's how we're going to go about this. We're going to create these pieces and then join them together. All right. Uh, let's keep moving. All right. Here I have this face right here, which is 20 meters in from the edge. So if I come to inference and edge here, inference and edge here, start there, come this way, 20, enter. And how thick is this little leg here? Assuming it's the same as this leg, so we'll say 10, we'll come down 10. And now, Dave so I've now I've got to scroll back and see how many how many times Davis corrected your dimensions. Oh man, maybe yeah. none yet. I don't know, but he's I here. I have to figure a way to let let Dave just do these streams. <laughs> Perfect. Except he was late, so then everybody would be like, "Uh, what's worse, being a little late or uh, nuking the whole stream?" I don't know. This this angle is measured from the flat 135 degrees over. So I draw a long line there. And then we will come here, click here, bring it around like this, type 135. And that's the angle that this piece goes goes up. Um so it's like you're 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 stressing a couple of members out by not using guides for some of these things. Guides? Ah, oh, come on, man. <sighs> okay, we could use guides. Whatever. Don't care. All right. Um I apologize for stressing anybody out. That's not my intention. But I'm also seeing something not right here. But it's okay, because since we're doing with groups, I can clean that up later. Um, all right, so again, 
20, talking about how I use 24 sides, this point right here is the middle of this arc. So if I draw a line straight up like that, that is this edge right here. See that? So I know that this comes over and then goes up at 25 over, 5 back. So 20 from this center line is where this goes vertical. And then we'll, we'll come and put the radius in afterwards. So what that means is I just come up here, I come this way 20, drop that straight down, and there we go. And that is where those two meet. And I'm actually going to clean that up a little bit. There we go. Now, I have a radius of 10. So what I'm going to do is just draw an arc arbitrarily from here to here. I'm going to make sure it's the right color, make sure it turns to that purple color. And then I can come in here to radius and just tell it to be 10. And you'll see it shrink. See that? Now we have, I'm sure I drew that in plane. Yes. Uh, now we have that same arc right there. All right. Carrying. I had, I had no. Mm -hmm. I hadn't noticed it, but but uh, Patrick just pointed out that you can see the modeling through your shirt. Yeah, I have a little bit of Listen. yellow on my uh, on my <laughs> shirt. It's kind of yellowy green right here in her hair, but uh, yeah. Easter egg. Patrick gets a gold star for today. You head home early. Um, <laughs> all right. Uh, so I want to put the other side. I want to get this piece dropping down. That piece, if I look at this, so this was 20 right here. Uh, again, got to do some math, right? Um, so this would be 40 more minus 5 would be 35 from the center to here. Does that math sound right? So you check, check me on that. I just, <laughs> I, I'm, I'm, all I'm doing is listening to the way you talk about math. It's uh, it's always, I don't even know the numbers you just said. I was just so amused by uh, listening to you being like, carry the one. I'm waiting for your fingers to come up and your tongue Dude, to stick out of the side of your mouth. And... It, it is all I can handle. I will tell you the truth. Well, it's, it's always harder. You know, the camera adds 10 pounds, but it also reduces your IQ by 20. It does. What is that about? I got stupider <laughs> every time I hit record <sighs> or stream. See, I even said the wrong thing there. Okay. So this, this guy right here, he, this feller here is going to be 10. And that is the support of this top part. Now it does run inside here. So Obviously, that's not going to work. We'll have to clean that up a little bit. But uh, what I could do is I could always come over here. I could draw an arc from here to here and just pull that up like that. And then push that through the full 10. And then triple click to make that a new group. Now, something I did want to point out is that this is not see lined up with the back edge. I used it because it was a nice reference point, but it is pushed forward. Um, again, guess what? Missing dimension. I don't have any reference of where these pieces are relative to this main half circle piece. But if I look at this right here, if this right here is 10, and I just kind of check my drawing, that's 10 too. So what I can do is I can take these two pieces, pull it back this way, 10, enter, and uh, those seem to be where they should be. All right, I think next thing I'll do is I will throw this circle piece on here. Um, let's see where it is. So from the front, it's 20 back. Is that the center? No, it's not the center. Oh, it's this edge. So the center's on this edge right here. So I'm going to just, right now, I'm going to use, what is it, 25. So I'm just going to draw a circle from the edge, pull it down half of 25, which is 12.5. Not math, just a number I remembered. <laughs> uh, yeah, they're really, uh, I got to spend. Your, your, your post-it note with all the numbers. I really got to. Basically just every number. I, I, I got to spend more time on these, I guess, beforehand, because there's a gross <laughs> lack of information here. Um, but again, I'm going to inference since I'm at scale. 
Let's check this. It feels like so again. It feels like this is a mechanical drawing, 10. but not scientifically so. More artistically so. This is that's, an artistic mechanical drawing. Ooh. So yep. Yeah, right in my wheelhouse, right there. All right. So and since it's so big, you can also say it's like a, par a part of a mech. So then it's a little sci-fi too. Hey, that works. A little bit of everything. Tastes great and less filling. All right, it does have a four millimeter cutout here. So I'm gonna do that before I extrude it. I'm gonna draw a line across, right? right Again, because as Jody called out right at the beginning, I have a inference point right here, straight across the green axis from the center. So I can just come across like this. And then what I'll do is come up to, draw that one back in, and then here, down to, and I should not have to explain how I got to two, right? We, 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 got, we got simple math down. Simple pluses and minuses. And that one gives me one, yeah. that. All right. Ah, I see. Nailed it. Nailed it. Uh, All right, there we go. <laughs> that's why my kids hate me. Oh, they'll, they'll appreciate it someday. That's what I say. Yeah, I keep I'm, telling myself that. Yeah, I think it's I think it's safe to assume they'll have to yeah. or else. Yeah. Right. If you just throw an or else in there, then mm -hmm. it all totally works. works. <laughs> okay. Um, that was good. I have these little lips sticking out right here. So I think what I want to do in this case is just kind of model them. I guess I kind of got to model them in place. Uh, again, not a whole ton of awesome dimensions, but I do have the dimension from the center of the circle. So what that means is I can come to this point right here, inference that, pull it out 32.96. Okay, that one probably wouldn't have been able to pull off of the drawing. Not correctly. And then I can see it's a 14 diameter circle. So I'm gonna draw a circle that is seven. Or, yeah, because this is a circumference. I'm drawing radius. So I'm going to draw seven. Oh, man. I was just thinking. Some of my high school math teachers could see me now. People <laughs> Maybe like, laughing? Diameter versus uh, radius and uh, circumference. And uh, did that math in my head. I don't know. I, I'm, I'm hoping they'd feel proud. Uh, that's That's my hope. Well, just as soon as you start using pi, that's when we it starts to get really cool. Uh, I try to reserve pi for like Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving pi. All right. So this one had a 14 for a radius. This one has a 14 for, I'm sorry, this had 14 for circumference. So the radius was seven. The outside circle right here has a radius of 14. So I'm going to go on the axis, axis 14. And then I can draw, finish this up by drawing a line back. We'll go back to about here. It's really not important where I go back to as long as it's gonna lap inside of uh, the shape. There we go. And then clean all this up. I'm going to now group this because I don't want it to immediately join with uh, the surface. I'm going to pull it up so it hits the top lip here and I see where where it is at. It's lined up with this which is at the center so I can take this grab it by a middle point drag it this way until I get I need to come down here and look at this. There we go. There's the middle point. Just like that. And then this is so easy. 34 minus 4 divided by 2. Uh. <laughs> so that is 15. And I'll grab a copy of that from a top point. Modifier key to copy. Up arrow key to stay on the vertical axis. Drag it down. There we go. Then grab this. Make that into a group. All right, we're coming along. We got our. We're getting our pieces in there. Um, it's all coming together. Hey, now it's starting to look like a ram. Yeah, I can see that. With the curly horn. Is that what you saw? Yep. Although maybe yeah. it still maybe it still looks like a duck too. I don't know. 
Yeah, it depends on how far. Nice work here. Yeah. What did you name this file? Untitled. Why did you save it as untitled? Weird. What time is it? Half an hour in. I blame you. <laughs> All of you. My bad. <laughs> no, I was blaming other people. Yeah. Oh. Uh, yeah, it wasn't actually. I was just parroting what what someone else's comment was, which was that you're failing to save. Yeah, I, did. I figured. I figured you maybe you had saved it as, you know, obviously you would have saved it as untitled. It's what I save. It's what I'll, I save all my files as untitled, untitled one, untitled two. Yeah, I want to bite back, but it's all justified. <laughs> it actually works. <laughs> all right. So this is currently. 10 millimeters back, but you can see that the leg that comes up on this side is five millimeters back. So I'm going to come back here to go five. And then from that point, I will pull back this way. I'll go all the way to the other edge and then come back five. And then this edge, I'll go up to here, and across here. All right, so now we run into this thing. Move this vertically up to the top. So what we got is a line that goes from here to tangent to the circle kind of thing. Um, because SketchUp draws circles as broken or arcs as broken segments, um, I can't really find a true tangent to the surface. So what I tend to do in this kind of situation is zoom in and see where am I going to hit an edge without crossing over the other piece. I'm going to use that corner right there. Click right there. That's what I'll use. Um, I'll take this face, intersect with model. That'll give me... This and this, which I will group. It's it's curious you were talking about at the beginning of the the stream about uh, solid tools being native, but you're just using intersect with model for all your things. So far, yeah. You haven't looked I, far enough ahead to even know if you're going to use the uh, solids tools. I will use solid Don't tools. It, it'll it will happen. It will for sure. Um, all right, and then. I believe this is 10 thick, so I'm just going to come in here, pull this this way five, this way five, this way five, and this way 12. Just kidding, five. All right, so that sits up on top, so I do have to come in here, grab that, pull that down a little bit. This isn't quite as simple. I can't just pull it down because if I pull it down, it's going to change uh, the arc. So what I would do in this is it takes just a second longer than just pulling it down, but I'm gonna run that down so that this arc hits the face, pull it straight across, come up to here. Oops. That gives me there. that. And then I can just draw a rectangle right here. Clean that up. Same thing, rectangle here. That up. And I'm gonna go to view. I usually have a shortcut set for hide rest the model, but like I said, I haven't 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 did my shortcuts yet. It's still on my to do list. Um, there we go, and that's that's those solid pieces in. One last chunk. One last chunk is this this little. Bobbin. What do they call it? A, call it a bobbin. There we go. Thank you. That was. Uh, wasn't called something ruder than that. Oh, I know, now I want to know. I was going to call it a dingleberry because it's kind of hanging off the side, but. Oh, there you go. Maybe it's a greeble. That sounds, that works. Wait, right. greebly. Greebly. Sorry, I always would have. Is a greeble an animal of some sort? All right, so this Probably. is 60 over to the center of the circle. The circle is, again, seven. So I'm going to go circle here of seven um, then I gotta figure out what 
this width is it cuts it cuts off the flat comes in at 15 right here so that's good to know I suppose um, but I'm wondering what that oh there we go nope that's from the center of the circle I don't know that I have any place that tells me the depth or the distance here. So I'm wondering, is that seven? It's 10. All right, we're doing 10. So I'm just gonna use an offset, offset this 10. Yeah, I buy that. Just shy, that looks perfect. Um, also subterranean right now, so let's bring this up in the light. Cool, and then I have a piece coming over like this. And the other piece I have is 15 degrees up from this. Now, here's a thing that's not awesome about that. Right? <laughs> yeah, I'm trying to figure out what uh, it's, what that number is telling me there. It's cool that this is 15 degrees up, but what it doesn't tell you is where that 15 degrees is measured from, right? So if I if I was to draw a line like this, come here, and then I grab this line and say, okay, let's make a copy of this line at 15 degrees. Super. Now I got to bring that line back here, back, 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 back until, you know, something like that. So where is that? <laughs> it's right know, over there. <laughs> it's, it's somewhere over there. So a couple things that they could give. So if they gave this vertical measurement right here, we could work backwards into it. It looks like, based on this line, this this line right here, it looks like that might be tangent. See that? It hits the edge of the circle there. So if I have, if I grab a circle and go to the middle point and pull it out to here, oh, it's not quite, it's not tangent. It actually does chop it off. Well, but no, if I, if I, Okay, I knew this, I knew this. Because what I can do is I can come in, I can chop the circle off here, and then I can take my 15 degree line, which I'll take to the edge of the circle here and bring it straight up. It's not quite straight up though, is it? It's well, wherever that hits. Okay, yes, I have a game plan. Let's see what happens. I look right. forward to, to seeing how this plays out. I'm gonna go to the middle, draw a line up 15, and then I'm gonna draw a line over on the red axis. Now, I'm going to take an edge. I'm going to rotate it to 15 degrees. And then I'm going to place that edge right here. Ah, didn't take, didn't stick. Lost my face. There we go. We're back. It looks authentic. So I was missing I was missing that dimension, but again, by using SketchUp and drawing lines over top, I could actually see that this line comes down and would have hit the circle at the edge where that 15 is. So I feel very confident that that's, uh, that's exactly what was intended, 100%. No question about it, and we won't talk about it anymore moving on. I think it's obvious. Okay. So Bill did... Bill did express some concern. He thinks the upper portion that you had already that you've completed is sitting too high. I can't quite tell. This part up here. To, yeah, like it's taller than. We can check because I have that dimension. Somewhere. Oh, right here. It is 85 from the ground to the center of this circle. So we'll go find inference the middle of this. And if I stay vertical and snap the edge, this should be 85, 93 point, wait, what? You, what? <laughs> well, Bill, beans, Bill, where were you? All right. So. <laughs> he mentioned it. He mentioned it before you started working on this little dingleberry, but okay. 85. Hey, if, uh, if we can't show how to fix things, then, uh, what good are we? Right. So I'm gonna grab all of this. 
and I'm going I'm to argue, remove what it. Could argue anyway. I don't know. It's it's an argument at best. Vertically move it to right here. Now we're sitting at the right spot. I don't even remember how I got to that point. So I'm like in a, <laughs> a dream state right now. I don't know what's happening. What's, how'd I get here? It's all that math. It's just kind of put you in a fog. It, it's, it's wrecking me. I'm telling you. All right. So we'll pull this down a little bit to make that go into there. This guy looks okay. This is obviously not going to work. So what I'll do is I will smooth that. And then we'll move that vertically to somewhere in here. Or actually, that's going to have to intersect, isn't it? Yeah, so what I'll have to do is I'll have to grab it by a point and then move that vertically until it hits because that was actually trimmed right up against the face that didn't run into the surface. So, but hey, that works because this was at the right spot. I just left it where it was, pulled that down. The angle was arbitrary or not arbitrary. It was, it was too tangent with the side of the circle. So we're down. Thank you, Bill. Nice. Save. Um, good save. You did a good job and don't, don't feel compelled to talk anymore. We're good. <laughs> Unless it's just funny things, not about the drawing no more no more mistakes i can't handle it all right so once again we now have uh a question of where this thing goes because it's not dimensioned and this i really don't see any place to reference this because not it's not even on this piece on here i mean i can't see it from the front and here there is no dimensions so if i if i just come check according to the drawing I'm right, right, I'm almost like perfectly at 20. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to move back this way 20. And then I'm going to copy it 45. So I'm going to take that, option copy it 45. Um, oh, there it is. Look, there, that face lined up with this face. Perfect. So I feel validated. All right, that piece comes out 15. Five. This one goes in seven and a half. Seven point five. Ooh, yeah. Um. Then a thing happens right here. This guy right here. A miracle occurs. <laughs> I don't know what that is. I'm gonna assume, and you know what they say when you assume. Good things happen. I'm going to right. put a circle from the center. Out to here. And that's not quite it. Is this if I take that straight up? that across it's like it's somewhere in between there let's see from on the edge just to get a ballpark dimension it's like it's about 25 in so I'm just curious now where's 25 sit yeah so it's somewhere in the middle there huh That's weird because I what I really need to make this work. I wonder if that's what this line is. Oh, oh yeah. I'll see that thing dotted. There? Yeah. What the crap is that? Wait, where, uh... Is is it is it a curved line? I don't even know. Let's see. Let's how many how many angles here. is it? It's not a straight line. I can't even see where the end of it is. That's the end of the arrow, so it's right here. So it's it's some it's some other. <laughs> Some curvish kind of thing. <laughs> kind of a curve that goes it can be from here to a point. Maybe it's uh, again it's, it's art. You just you just sort of you just kind of sort of guess. Nailed perfect. it one hundred percent. It's perfect. We'll never talk about it again. Boom. 
I'm gonna go. Have, I'm gonna go over here and mute Bill just in case. <laughs> Actually, Bill says he says uh, <laughs> that is cut to to circular. Uh, well, maybe that's what we just determined. It, from from it was. something, I guess. I I mean, it's possible that the radius is over here. Mm, almost. It's, I think it's even. Maybe it's the furthest outside point. That's going to make a shallower circle, actually. Yeah, so if I go the farthest point out, almost, it's, it is it is almost from there. Bill said to look at the ISO, ISO, the ISO view. Yeah. I just don't know where, where that, where the center of that radius is coming from. Um, but now we're speculating on stuff that we will never know the answer to. So let's move on. All right, last thing I have here is I do have a circle, uh, nine, so four. I'm just, I'm just gonna draw a couple of overlapping lines here. Circle of 4.5. Hmm, that's too big. Well, was that six? That's a six, not a nine. They need the little lines under it like they have on the Uno cards. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, because, I mean, every, obviously no other number is oriented in a certain direction. Yeah, or is that just is that just a thing that we, like, Roman characters... Why, do, why, do, why does it have to be so similar? Why does that even have to happen? All right, so what I'm going to do... How do I make that? I think they ran, they ran out of number ideas, and then they're like, <laughs> I don't know, we're going to start... We're going to add another digit in one more second anyway. Let's go ahead and just reuse... It. Yeah, we'll make that one upside down. It's fine. All right, so I'm just going to intersect. I'm just, I'm just happy it isn't a backwards four or something. Yeah, it's for, I mean, of, of things to draw the opposite direction, it's, it's really not that bad. All right, I'm assuming that's a set screw there. All right, I'm going to grab that and make it a group. Hopefully it's solid. Oh, yeah. Solid, 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 solid. Okay. Lars suggested that that... I mean, it might, it's mood at this point, but it, it, he thinks it's the, the same uh, diameter as the center. That's possible. As that, the big center tube. That could be. All right. I'm going to grab all these guys. I'm going to save. I'm going to go to tools. And I'm just going to outer shell this thing. I have something. Oh. Kaboom. Ah, oh, there we go. I had one edge in there that was preventing everything I had from being joined together. But the rest of it, the important part, is that this is a thing now. Look at that. Well, it's a virtual representation of a thing. That's right. All right. So <laughs> uh, I want to say it's because I'm rusty, but I also want to temper that with this was just kind of a nuts piece of, of uh, this was this There's was a lot crazy. of guessing. This was, I mean, there's just a lot sure. of pieces too. I mean, we've done some some machine parts that have like one third of this geometry and spent half an hour on them. So that was a lot. Uh, so I want to throw something, I want to throw a question out there. We're not, we don't have to do an official poll or anything like that, but just to check in, I, my thought, I got real excited when I saw this, see what you guys think. Just because I had never seen a... A drawing like this, but this is a, oh, I didn't do it. User error. Oh, Richard said, Richard said you're missing a recess inside of the half circle. You're like, I've already moved on to the next drawing. I don't even, sorry, next drawing's up. Care what inside you're talking the half circle? Oh, yeah, 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 right here. Let's see that. Do we know what that is? We think it's three. I'm oh. going gonna, gonna to guess that it's... I wanted to do that, which I don't, Richard. Um, <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> I would draw that, and then I would go, what is the total? 85 minus 13 minus 13. 85 minus 36? Come on. Hey, Siri. 26. What is 85 minus 26? 
Oh, it's, it's taking her a second, too. All right, 59. Thank you, Siri. You guys say thank you to Siri? Uh, no. Oh, I say thank you to, to Google sometimes. All right, so I'm going to cut that. I'm going to edit, paste in place. I'm going to take that, which is going to be my void, take it straight back to the edge. And I can see that that void starts 13 in. So I'm going to move it this direction 13. There we go. And then I can take my cutter. I can go to solid tools, subtract from this. And there is my void. If I would pin, had been paying attention, I probably would have done that during the extrusion process, but uh, simple enough to cut out. Now we're not going back. All right. So I was thinking, uh, maybe this is stupid. This is probably the hardest thing, and it's going to be super difficult to do. But I had never seen a machine drawing of a skillet before. So, um, just to interrupt you for a second, everybody said that there that Siri is answering on their, in their office now, or their space. <laughs> you, you queued series across the globe, or at least in two other locations. Oh, that's awesome. We are, uh, we are more unified than I even, I, I thought before. That's awesome. So here's my question for you alls. Um, I see we're gonna do an official poll, but in there, tell me, do we wanna do drawing 1159, which is a part? I don't know what it is. It's a part. It's a thing. It looks like a mount of some sort. I don't know. Or do we want to do 1155, which is a skillet? So, All right. please feel free so far, to one vote for skillet. That's right. You can vote uh, however you like. Yell it out. Tell Siri if you want. That's cool. <laughs> I guess that means we have a large group <laughs> that are that are actually not listening on headphones. That's kind of cool. It is surprisingly close. Actually, it's neck and neck. It's literally, whoa, whoa, whoa. Uh, you're like seven for each now. I mean, I I like both of these. This one's this one's kind of cool. We got a lot of curves going on. Uh, but this guy over here is yeah, like classic machine part modeling right here. Yeah, that guy's pulling ahead. He's a couple, a couple, a couple further in. Oh, Hers is people need to stop voting. I don't know if people are voting <laughs> twice. That's true. This is I guess this is why uh those professional streamers use polls. I guess we are <laughs> professionals. <laughs> I was not prepared. Uh I feel like I probably would have needed I definitely need a little prep time to even yeah. remember where the polls are at. So that was spur of the moment for sure. I, I definitely sprung that. I yeah, I feel like it's coin flip. Ooh, I, two more fifty nine just came in. Yeah, I kind of like Simon's suggestion of both, but I think it should be combined. How about this? I spend 10 minutes modeling this and then shift over and pick up with dimensions from here. What could possibly go wrong? <laughs> All right. Uh, oh, man. I feel like 59 pulled ahead there. Yeah. Yeah, I do All too. Right. All right, we'll do I mean, this it was, one. It was, it was close, but. Ooh, look at all look at all this 10 20 40 46 Whew. all right let's do this thing generally speaking when I launch into a part like this um which th these are some of my favorite ones I love this this is this is fun this is gonna be a cool one what I tend to do is anytime it has a section that's sitting flat on the ground I usually start modeling that like it is sitting on the ground so as I look at this, my immediate thought would be to try to get this shape drawn first, minus the holes in it, uh, then work my way up. So then come up to these little bump outs here, then come up to this piece right here, and then tackle this rather complicated looking circle centerpiece last and work my way back down with that hole. So I think that's what I'm going to do. What is it? Section C. Oh, that's right here at the end of this part. Oh, wait. Cool. So yeah, that's my thought is to is to to start by modeling this like it's on the ground. Um, let's see. We will do that. I don't have an overall dimension. 
this way. I don't know what the full length of this piece is. Section B is right through the middle. Um, but I have a dimension from what I'm assuming is the center of this larger arc on both ends. So 100 this way, 90 this way. So we'll start with a rectangle that is 100 by 90. And then we'll put a circle. Whoops, I said 90, it should be 70. So we'll take this, shift that up 20. We have a, our, this is a recurring question that comes up, which is, uh, people keep asking, you know, why don't I just have attributes for a rectangle? Um, well, first thing, SketchUp's not object-based modeling. You're, you're, you're creating edges, you're drawing surfaces. Um, but it's so easy to resize things by moving stuff. Uh, yeah. Anyhow, just that came out of so, my mouth. That was a thing. <laughs> thanks, thanks for using those words in your face. You got uh, it. Bill and Dave have already done this, and Dave pointed out that this is symmetric in, in <gasps> both directions. So you only have to make one fourth of a model. Yes. Normally, I would be so far in the model for somebody called that out. I appreciate you being on the ball, Dave. <laughs> of course, yeah, I'm going to do this. I'm going to oh, grab this. And Randy's, Randy's, oh, I don't know if he's making that up. It says it's a Siri mounting bracket. <laughs> I'll ask. I'll ask her later. <laughs> All right. Here's what I'm going to do. I am going to grab this. I'm going to make that a group. I'm going to explode this. That way I can actually pull dimensions. If I have dimensions I have to pull off of the whole geometry, I can still do that and reference. That's cool. Great call, Dave. Thank you. All right. So I do have a circle right in the middle. I might as well throw in now. Not there. There we go. Uh, is that the right one? I'm being distracted by this spider that has appeared and is running. I'm just doing laps around my monitor. Nope, nope, nope. See, if I had a spider on my monitor, we'd have to shut down the stream. <laughs> Smack, crash. All right, so. Center of the circle. I'm gonna draw. I got a circle of. All right, so this is telling me two holes, diameter of 12. This hole, 12. So a six circle. We're good. All right, that's in. What I should do, actually, let me let me change what everything I've just said. So I'm gonna get rid of this. I'm gonna grab this right now, make it a component. Take it and we'll mirror it here. I'll grab both of these, mirror that. Now, as I model this quarter, the rest will just spring to life. All right. So oh, I made that 70, it's 76. Oh, geez. Why am I even here? I don't even what know what I'm doing, doing anymore. Here? All right. So this is currently <laughs> 35. It needs to be three bigger. So I'm going to draw a line right here and get rid of this because that part's no longer good. Neither is this, neither is this. But all I have to do is take this, pull this out three, draw a new circle from here to here, from here to here, get rid of the rest of this. All right, we're back to, we're back to good. So now this whole thing is 76 across. Mistakes are part of life, folks. In your life, maybe. Ooh. They're, yeah, you're right. They are all of some people's lives. <laughs> it's true. You do you do you, you know anybody like that? That is uh there's just some people that stuff always seems to break for them. That is true. That is, sometimes sometimes stuff is unfairly, yeah, it's just not cool. 
All right, so I just draw a little reference line out, 45 from the center, 45 is half of 90. So when I come out here to 90, I can maybe figure out where to put this. So I have a circle Dave, here that says 10. Uh -huh. Dave, Dave says he typically models parts like this where the center is on the origin. That's a great idea. I don't disagree with that. That would be a good thing to do. <laughs> that's a great. That's great. Thank you for your comments. I will no, that, carry on. Very, in very, my... <laughs> very smart. Uh, yeah, but um, I yeah. think Dave also knows how to use math. So. Yeah, that's probably true. Um, sorry, I, I'm. I have a hard time accepting information whilst also thinking. And I'm trying to see. Okay, my section B here. Does it actually tell me how? big this is it doesn't what the diameter of the hole this so i got the hole but i don't oh, have the outer this out outer here. diameter yeah um uh sean on uh, youtube i think just called me a tart at the mall <laughs> Just playing, Sean. I'm, I'm terrible at typing, too. Uh, yes, my original rectangle was the wrong size. My new rectangle, the one I got now, is, in fact, 100 by 76. So we're good again. We're good. Um, yeah, so can you... Mm -hmm. What is that? What is section CC showing us? That's right here. That's just cut down here through these two oh, okay. holes. So it just shows the... the this brace coming up and then the insides of the holes and how they're countersunk there. Um, I cannot find, so I got an R12, which is the radius of this little guy on the outside. I'm assuming this is the same, again, 12. Uh, and what I don't see is where I get this wall thickness. R10 is, oh, it is the outside here. Wait, what? Um, oh, so that's five. Thanks. So this is Thanks, the, the beauty of kids is I, I sent a picture of my spider off to my family group chat and said, what is this thing? And my daughter found one of their friends who's now returned it. This is a red spotted ant mimic. I'm like, how's this kid that lives a thousand miles away from me know what kind of spiders crawling around on my monitor? Don't care. Don't care for it. <laughs> <sighs> yep. Do not like it. Um, thank you very much for chiming in there, guys. Yes, the dimension was right there. I was thinking that here I had a circle of 12 or of 10. Uh, the diameter was 10. Numbers. Here I got a radius of 10. So five. Good. We're good. We good. See, this has got the opposite problem of the first one, which is too many numbers. You just, you just get lost. Seriously. All right. Um... So now it looks like what I got is an arc that's going from here to here. It doesn't, I can't. This is definitely coming off earlier than that, though. Isn't it? Um, how does that look? Peter does ask a good question, uh, which is how much information overload does it take to explode your brain? You, Aaron, your brain. Me personally? Mm -hmm. um, alphabet? <laughs> but what if it's like, if you start singing the alphabet song, and then by the time you get to the end of it, does it blow up? Or have you lost enough by the time you get to the end of the song that you're fine? I can get through the alphabet pretty good. <laughs> Not to toot my own horn. I don't brag or nothing. Uh, yeah. No, uh, I would say it depends on the thing. Like, uh, there's certain topics that I could sit and just chew on and enjoy for, like, large amounts of time. And then there's other stuff where I am very limited 
in the in how much I can take on. So uh, currently, I am studying to get my pilot's license so I can fly a drone, and uh, that's really cool. It's it's a lot of fun. It's um, a lot of good information, but the stuff you got to study there is. Uh, there's some FAA stuff and things in there that are, <laughs> that are fairly intense. And uh, I got to shut myself down after about a good 45 minutes of, of <laughs> class, for sure. Um, Uncle, so that's an interesting little little tangent then, because I, like, having a drone, especially if you live in a city, is, is kind of tricky business. Like, you can't, I mean, this isn't city, but you can't fly one in a national park. Sure. We have uh, air traffic control center here in Longmont, so... I would imagine, I don't know, I don't know if that matters at all, but I've, I know that you can't be very close to an airport. Also true. You got a lot, you got a lot to, a lot to work out. I can't wait till you figure it out. So then I can come and play with your drone and crash it. I don't like that second part of that plan very much, but uh, we'll see, we'll see, we'll see. Um, all right. Uh, I'm trying to find find this I guess maybe that's it looking down 20 and then huh? I've got the point where I'm, I'm thinking too much now <laughs> um all right so these circles right here I see are 20 off of the center right so the center so 20 right here and then they have this line that is showing that they're aligned from the center circle here what I'm looking for is a dimension to that line so I have a 12 which shows this arc right here I have a 2 which shows the arc of this piece tying into that piece what I don't see is where this is maybe that's the center the center of that so maybe i gotta get this piece in first okay let's do that draw this piece here it says 12 so i'm gonna put it at six no 12 radius is 12. and then i'm gonna have to get this big circle in here Fifty-five across. So that's twenty-five, twenty-seven point five. And then what's happening here is we need a line that's tangent to this circle to this circle. And like I said, there, there's so there's extensions that will will do this based on the measurements. I tend to just look for the line that's closest. And let that let that work like that um, so basically this is the shape that I I got out of all of that I feel like there's so much that you can do here that like if you are a proper draftsman if you're just doing this on paper. I mean, I guess you could make that on paper, but it's so handy to have be able to create a digital copy like that. Yeah. All right, so I'm gonna grab that. Uh, let's flip it. Oh, see, I don't always use copy anymore. So I still go back to the good one, the, the good oldies. Uh, I'm gonna hit Command X to copy it, come in context, edit paste in place and drop that right back in. All right, we're getting there. Get rid of this. Um, all right, I think that looks all right. Let's get rid of that. We'll get rid of that. We'll get rid of that. Okay. So with that, could do 26. Oh, look at that. So here's what happens right here. This comes out to the middle, which is 13. 
And then the other dimension I have is 20 off the center. So I come here, drop a line down 20, enter, drop, draw a line back, and that becomes the center of that new circle. And that circle is, do I have the circumference of that circle? Oh, right here, 10. Find that intersection point. I think the most important part we take away from today's session is how much you mumble as you're you're working your way through these parts. I'm trying not to like just wander off on my own and just. <laughs> yeah, that's like a, the thing that's kept me from ever trying to become some sort of YouTuber is I'll start doing a thing and I will will immediately I will completely forget about the mic or the camera or the audience or the whatever once I'm trying to figure it out. Yeah, apparently that's. Uh... I've been told that's important. All right, that is getting me pretty close to where this base is done. We have countersinking, but I'll do that after I push pull it up. Um, I have this arm that comes across here again. Get that afterwards. Uh, so I think I can pull this up. So this first depth right here is, well, either 15 or 25. Oh, it's 15. So this is this part's 15. So I'm gonna grab this, pull this up, 15. This piece right here, it's cutting through in section B is 25. So I'll grab this chunk and pull that up 15 plus another 10. All right, we got those two pieces. The tall piece right here comes up highest. That is 55, 45, 55, yep. So we'll have to come up 15 and then another I forgot what number I'm going for. So it's, it's come up 25. I need to go up 55. So I need to go up another 30. I just need to pull these. I just need to have this open on my second monitor so that I can actually be able to answer these questions when they come up. And then that this piece on me. looks like it uh, pops up some dimension more, but we'll get to that. Um, all right. I do have some extra edges that I could probably just delete right out, as well as some that I could come in and smooth. Because the component, I'll have to do it once. I have some Z fighting right here, so I'm guessing if I peek my head inside, that there's probably an extra surface here. Get rid of that. There we go. No more Z fighting. Oh, <laughs> oh no, yeah. it, it, it was not, it was not that. I thought I... That's funny. That was Dave's most recent comment was, what does the bottom look like? Like this. Woo, nailed it. If I were to use a phrase, I think I would use hot mess. <laughs> All right, we're good again. That was, that was surprisingly easy to clean up. I was expecting something much worse. All right. Well, you only have a fourth of the geometry that you thought you did. Too true. All right. Uh, hey, let's save. Okay, so this is looking pretty good. This is looking all right. We have, I could always come in and fill this guy, put this leg in here. Um, I kind of want to get this in real quick because I got this little notch here that sits in the bottom, 110 by 55. So what I'm going to do is, of course, you know what's missing? I don't have, what is this? Oh, what it was, does anybody know what this is? Not sure what this is supposed to be a cut through because I have section A to A, B to B, C to C. So that's A, B, C. And then I got this. The plug is hanging out. Um, all right. Well, anyhow, I'm going to come in and I'm going to draw a 110 by, by 55 rectangle to start. So uh, 110, comma 55. That is three deep and it has a radius of two. So, and the other, but the other, here's the thing that I don't know about this. I'm going to make this a group. And then I'm going to grab it by the center. Smack that there. Huh, that's weird. That's weird. 
I don't like how it where it hits so, there. Yeah, it kind of, like it kind of looks like it's just oh you know, this this circle doesn't go all the way this this hole doesn't go all the way through. Oh yeah, 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 it's yeah. It's only thirty deep. It goes goes yeah thirty and then a little and that I imagine that technically that little dip at the bottom. Well, I don't know. Maybe, maybe that's, that's just the drill head. It's my it's my first thought. I come down to thirty. I draw a line across here like this. I'm gonna grab this right here. Option copy that down to here. Draw a line. Yeah, somebody somebody mentioned that it doesn't go all the way through at the very beginning, but I was like, well, we'll worry about that when we come to it. And here we are worrying about it. <laughs> I'm worried. All right, there we no, go. I was, I was right. Cool. So that's that. And now I could trace it. Well, I don't want to trace this on. I want to. I want to cut that out. All right. Yeah, it was Bill. Of course, it was Bill. Bill noticed it. Bill, you're on QC. It's quality control. If you're wondering. All right. Um, I'm going to temporarily hide these guys and build this up. So it looks like what I got is... So Bill caught it. Bill caught it because he had the same issue you did. Okay. <laughs> he suffered suffered for that as well. I'm going to make some things up here. Um, so right here, I have a radius of two as it, it's going in and cutting this, this hole around here. Um, I'm going to also put that radius of two on the edges here. So I'm going to go... Uh, in here, draw a line back to, draw a line up to, put like that, and then double click to add it to this corner, this corner, that corner. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull that up one, and then I'm going to draw a line here, two. Two. I need a line like this. And draw a line kind of like this. I actually don't want those two. I want to draw something between these two. There we go. And then come back to the other side. And then I can grab the outline of this and just say, follow me with this. Draw an edge right here. There. And there we go. Grab all of that. Soften, smooth that. Um, also, that did, if I hide this, with that, give that extra geometry on the inside. I could have used Solid Inspector or something like that to clean that up, but. Uh, Go to edit, unhide last, and grab that again, soften it again. The reason I'm softening it first is I want to use solid tools to cut that out of the out of the bottom. Uh, and if I soften it, it means the resulting cut will also be smooth. So now I can go to edit, unhide all. How close to solid do you suppose one of these fellas is? It's probably going to be surprisingly solid. So, I don't mean last time it was. I'm going to copy this circle. I think that will disappear when we do whatever we do. Um, um, so here's the thing that's going to happen. I don't want to use Solid Inspector on this component because this component copies. What I want to do is grab the geometry inside the component and make it into a new group. Then take my cutter, my... Uh, I can't, can't easily get to. There we go. Cut that. Come into context. Edit. Paste in place. And do my cut inside the bounds of that component. If I don't do that, then it's going to create new geometry that is going to basically throw away everything I've done for a component so far. So let's let's go. Uh, Do I even have Solid Inspector? Oh, I don't even have Solid Inspector installed. Oh my goodness. So I don't know where I am or what to do anymore. 
Let's well, delete I that. I think you had said something about native tools in the forum post anyway, right? Like yeah. it or not. All right. There we go. Solid group. This isn't a solid group? Oh, boy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It says precision modeling in SketchUp using only native tools. So it's good. It's good it's not there. You would have completely been a liar. Yeah, I don't want to do that. Why is this not solid? Oh, man, come on. There's a hole in it. In this? No. That's not helpful. All right, let's view hidden geometry. <laughs> I want to check and see if I got an issue. That's why it's not solid. You know how big those pieces are? That Especially if our, our meter represents a real millimeter. I'm going to go with very, very, very small. Oh, I just got to hit that at all the four corners. Actually, I don't need all four corners, but uh, because I didn't break this into quarters, uh, it's easier to do this than to break it up now. So, all right. So when you draw this line the next time, eyeball what it is down there in the measurements. All right. Let's go. 0.0057, aka teeny tiny. Still not solid. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Is there extra geometry inside or something? I don't think so. All right. I'm going to try this. Did I explode it? Make it a new group. Still not solid. <sighs> All right. This is the point where I stop messing around with stuff and just do the thing. So uh, yeah, let's just make this work. What I will do is explode. Yeah, after after one thirty, Aaron is a lot different than twelve o'clock, Aaron. <laughs> I just I value all of our time and energy. All right, I'm gonna reverse the faces on this. And then I'm going to explode it. And then I'm going to grab all this geometry, intersect face with selection. And then I should be able to just come in here, delete this, delete that, get rid of any extra lines laying around. And there we go. We got our little arc, our, our little inset there. Good to go. Um, yeah, there's a point where elegance goes out the window and get her done shows up. And that's where we were. <laughs> all right i recognize it let's carry on all right so here these little guys i don't actually have a dimension on how far these are set in but i have a 20 a circle of 20 on this so i'm gonna go circle I'm gonna stay upright grab middle point 10 and this will push that down to one Yeah, sure. Um, okay, so working our way up, that looks good. I haven't done the center geometry. I'm gonna finish this outside chunk, and then we'll we'll uh, we'll clean up the 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 middle circle. Right here, our little our little guy here is eight wide. So if I come in here, that means I come in four. Actually, I'm gonna draw this out of context. Uh, just to have reference. So we come it's almost four. like using guides. Almost. Don't don't get too excited, everybody. <laughs> so the thing that comes up in this case. Is. Let's take this over like that. Um. I don't understand what's happening here. Is it rounded or something? Oh, it is. It's rounded. Okay. There's a couple of asks that you add that uh, that little cone bit, the drill bit at the bottom. Okay. We'll do that in a sec. 
Um, I think I have to knock off this corner before this will meet right. So, ugh. what time is it? One thirty. Nah, I'm gonna mess with it. I I could do. We could absolutely do that. So here's the thing. If I was really modeling this and wanted to get it right, what I would do is I would use Fredo Corner to go in and put those on there. It's absolutely possible to do follow me, but I don't want to do just this one because it actually goes here and here. And to do those right, to have that round corner go in and blend with the other pieces, totally possible, but time consuming. And honestly, I want to, I would rather spend time modeling the rest of this shape than uh, messing around with that. So I'm making the decision to cut a corner. I'm doing that. I'm doing that thing. Just do it. I'm that guy. Cut the corner. Cut. Consider it cut. All right. I'm here. I'm going to go ahead and take. It's funny because if this is a millimeter, this is, this is like material, small material width difference we're talking about here. Um, but that's me and my face up right there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab that command X all the rest of this come in here edit paste in place and now all I got to do is close that up so I take this line back here drop a line straight down line straight out um, why is that not straight out well that's curious. This should be four. This is not four. This is not even close to four. Four. And then sometimes just clicking stuff happens. Ah. First mistake ever, and you guys caught it right here live. Whew. <laughs> I, let me just write this down real quick. I'm going to actually put it in the forum so we can easily find it later. Thank you, sir. I don't want to get caught, caught missing that. Oy. All right, there we go. Good spot there. There we go. That's, that's, uh, that uh, I wonder how, how this, yeah, let's make that blurry right there and it ties in perfect. That's exactly that's how they do it in the big in the big business. That's right. The movies. As far as this cone goes, a couple ways I could do this. Um, here's probably the the quick and easy way. I wouldn't do a follow me on this because if I do follow me, what I would want is I want to start follow me perpendicular. So I'd have to draw a line out here, then draw the space down, and then come around and then trim it off. So what I would do instead is draw a line like this from the edge, one corner of the circle back to the center, and then use uh, rotate to option copy that like that, 23x, come all the way around. Then I can just grab this point and move it. Move it vertically, we'll say three, and then option soften those lines back out. There we go. And if I ever want to change that one, go a little, little deeper. Let's let's go another one millimeter down. Uh, it's easy enough. It's all connected. There we go. Drill bit hole has been all, did. Wasn't it's all connected? Wasn't that like the the tagline for X Files or something? <clears throat> Probably, but only about half of them really, because you got that like that leech guy who was all pale and stuff. He had nothing to do with the rest of the conspiracy. All right, um, cool. Let's uh, let's get this circle did. So this is interesting. Bring this closer. I still don't know what this is. I don't know what's happening with. I don't know what this is. Maybe it'll become apparent as that's, we get this circle done. So I think that's from the outside. It's just what it would basically look at. Looks like looking from the end. Oh, I see. It's just an end view. Okay. Yes, got it. Okay, cool. 
Yeah, that'll make more sense as we pull the circle up higher. All right, so let's pull this up. So it goes up vertically some amount, which is actually very important because it looks like these dimensions all come off of this. But I don't <laughs> seem to see where I see my total height. This is cutting through the middle. Again, dimensions down from the peak. Oh, right here. So 65 minus 15 is 50 minus 40 is 10. Look at that. Look at all that math just. Just spilling out. Can't even control. Yeah. It. All right. Now, now we got, we got circles and circles and circles. So what I want to do, what I, what makes the most sense to me is to put all these rings in at once. So I'm going to come here with a circle right here. I'm going to pull one out and that's going to be half of 46, which would be 23. And then half of 40, which is 20. Half of 20, which is 10. And then half of 10, which is five. That gets me each one of these steps. Now what I can do is I can figure where each of these pushes down to. So uh, this guy right here goes all the way through. He goes all the way to the bottom. I don't know why I say he. I, it's, it's, I don't know. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm yeah, not anybody. Because that, cause that, hole, that hole's pale. I guess. Fine. This one comes down 20. This one comes down 15. This is all based on these dimensions right here. This one right here is going to come down to wherever 60 degrees is off of center. So what I could do here, if I come out of context, well, except I do wanna, all right, so I'll temporarily group this. And then what I can do is I can come over like this. There we go, yeah, just do that. Grab that line, rotate that down 60. No, it would be 90 minus 60 is 30 because we're, we're going the other direction. The other way. That. Yeah, that doesn't look, like that. That didn't look like a 60 degree angle. It's doing the same thing where it's it's auto folding weird. Uh, let's see if I hmm. toggle auto fold off. Does it make a difference? It's just happening because you're on a curve that didn't, didn't have fold curve. I guess. Yeah, it doesn't matter if I turn auto fold on or off. It doesn't really seem to make a difference. Huh. I don't like that. All right, a little, a little peaceful stitching to uh, soothe the flames of anger. Bring back inner peace. In three, two, one. Thank you for joining us today. All right. Now I can. Oops. I. I can probably Right. And then I can explode that. I don't need to keep it in a group in a group. There we go. We got all of that set up. What I didn't put in is these little arms here. So we got to go, we got to put those in. Um, but the rest of it. We got all the rest of it of this circle. Oh, I don't have, I don't have a two radii here. So let me think of how I would do that. So this is what I was saying before. If I want to do a follow me, I want to start by coming straight out like this and probably end by going out long on the other side also. And then what I would do, draw a line up two, draw a line this way too. This would be a case where the fact that you're doing it in quarters makes it easy because then you get to be inside the hole. That's right. I don't have to worry about uh, figuring where this would all be. All right, so now I grab this line plus that arc plus that, and then I can do 
follow me right there. And then same thing here. I'm gonna go this plus this arc plus that edge. Follow me with this. And then what I have to do, this is why I chose not to do this before, because I have to put in a face or something like that to cut there. Another one right here to cut that. Grab all that. Right click, intersect face with model. I say these things like they're huge time consuming issues. Realistically, I mean, it's not, it doesn't hurt, doesn't hurt that much. It's not that, not that painful, but it is uh, a couple extra clicks. So, um, and like I said before, this is def. I don't know what that squiggle is. I don't know where it came <laughs> That's from. weird. There's the hair in the mold. <laughs> Get that off there. <laughs> yeah. I, uh, um, so it's not it's not hugely time consuming, but it is it this is it's an interesting spot because this is definitely where dependency on extensions shows up, right? Because with Fredo Corner, I would grab that piece, I would say radius of two, three segments, and be done. So it was a little bit more work, but uh, yeah, not painful. All right, that is in there. Um, yeah, you got to get the little cross members. That's right. See what information we have on those. Five. And then do I have radius of two? Okay. So I'm going to do this out of context. Um, and all out of context means is I'm not going to go into the group where the geometry is or into the component. So I'm going to draw a line this way, 2.5, and this way, 5. And then I'm just going to basically make a little rectangle like that. Do I have any information about how that comes up to the face? Okay, so that is exactly this tall. Comes through, whoops, let me just get rid of that. Let me leave it right there. All right, I'm gonna pull that into this side. Pull that through this side. Cut that, get it paste in place, and then I'm going to swing a copy of that around. Over here. It's nice that they did these like in quadrants as opposed to thirds. Because that would be yeah, that'd be a hot mess. Everything else is is a quarter, is a quarter except for this one spot. This one piece. For some reason, every time I see that, like that top down picture, I keep thinking it looks like it's going to be thirds. I'm like, oh, that's going to be tricky. And then it's not. And then we'll just, same thing. All that intersect face with selection. And then I just erase my extra, my extra bits. Is anybody on the uh, chat have big plans this weekend? We are, we're just uh, here where we're at in Colorado. School year is just starting again. So uh, this is our first, first school weekend. Which means uh, was, uh... exhaustion will probably be a big part of this weekend. <laughs> That's right. Too, a lot of too tired to do anything. I was just at Chipotle and. I got there just as all of the high school kids arrived. All right. I think um, I think we're going to the, the Peach Festival. Ooh, where's tomorrow. that at? In Lafayette. Nice. Yeah. There's the sign says there'll be over thirty thousand pounds of peaches there. That's I a whole lot of peaches. Be, I don't think we're gonna buy that get that much. We might get a batch. That's always good. I don't know if that's a seems like a very localized thing, right? I mean, that's definitely a hot item in Colorado. Yep, Palisade peaches. 
All right, so we got this inset on the bottom. It's the same size as the circle above. It goes 30 from the bottom. I know this is this step right here is three, so I'm gonna push up 27. I don't wanna brag, but I'm killing the math today. I mean, just, it's, just absolutely it's, murdering it. I feel like I'm on the wrong channel or something. Yeah, I don't know what's going on. I I feel like I should apologize. Like I like imposter syndrome th happening here or something. But I think we just did it. I think we just finished a bulk. I did not. There's some rounded corners that I didn't didn't get in there. Uh, just mostly because I didn't want to spend an extra thirty minutes doing that. But uh, we got a lot of it. Looks pretty. Um, looks pretty good. Looks legit. Not sure why. My bounding box all the way over here. I don't get that. That doesn't really matter. All right, let's uh, let's go ahead and grab these. I'm going to ah, not yet. Hold up, I'm going to copy one copy over here. Then I'm going to grab all of these. Explode them. Make them a single. Rid of those faces on the inside. Just deleting one of the edges should should uh, get rid of those interior faces at the edges. So now I should be able to. Boom! There we go. Oh, still got one right here. I guess the bottom would be the smartest way to do that. But now it's already did. I've seen many times that you've managed ah. to do it the not smartest way, and it still works. Oops. I've been practicing. All right, there's one more. All right, now, now it's did. Right, there we go. Fancy. There we go. That, that, that's and when you turn on hidden, you kind of see these lines. It looks like there's actual threads in at least. Yeah. Right. If, we, if we go to right here, we go, yep, threaded that hole right there. Did all the work. Don't look too close. Awesome. Hey, we got a couple a couple cool looking pieces. Let's uh, let's bring you over by your buddy here. I gotta say, those are probably the more complicated uh, pieces we've done on one of these. We've we've done some that were a little like a dozen surfaces total. So uh, these are definitely a little I think more. The, last time, this is these these were interesting. The the last time we did one, or the one that stands out in my head is whenever you actually built an entire like a steam engine or something like that so we had to like bring all the pieces together yeah we definitely for, for uh extra fun that was that I, I would say the individual pieces a lot of them were, were quicker and easier right like there's some that was just just rods or that kind yeah, of thing yeah. so that made it easier but uh yeah these these individual pieces were definitely more complex than some of the stuff we've done in the past but turned turned out pretty cool i like them i like them both I'm gonna keep. Them. I wonder how long it would have taken to do the the skillet. Uh maybe in three weeks when I model again, we'll find out. Because <laughs> I had <laughs> so the skillet was one, and then the other that I thought was pretty cool was there we go a uh, a wrench. That was kind of a kind of a fun one. Maybe here's what we'll do. We'll do this next time. Well, by next time, I'll get Fredo Corner lo loaded back up, and uh, that can help us with some uh, knocking off some some corners and getting these teeny radiuses in. Uh, maybe yeah, that's got be a lot of a good one. It's got a lot more detail than you can than you realize at first. Yeah, so maybe next time we'll do one fourteen and eleven fifty five. Um, that could be cool. Actually, maybe next time. Here's what we'll do next time. I will go get like another five or six of these. We'll put them up on the forum and you guys can vote to set the priority of the order in which we model them. Um, oh, nice. that will be kind of fun. Yeah. See, cause we care. We do. And also that means you've got to go to the forum. So right. be sure to go sign up, create your account now. Head over to the forum. Uh, yeah, this would be good. It was, this was good. This was a, a fun couple of crazy shapes to get modeled. And uh, again, if you followed along, hopefully 
I didn't zone out and be quiet too often. That's why I talk. I was not because I, I have to think out loud. Sometimes I do think out loud, but I uh, want to make sure you guys were able to follow along. Uh, also, another thought, but it got away because I just saw this line. It was not smooth. <laughs> I'll curse you, line. So I roll. Oh, man, look at that. Ah, oh, what? Does the modeler even care? Okay, there we go. Now we good. All right. Yeah, cool. So uh, that was fun. That was that was a, a definitely a cool one. Hopefully you guys like that and were able to follow along at home if that was your plan. If it's in the future, if it's not August 18th, 2023 at 1.51 p.m. and you're just watching this video, awesome. Sorry you couldn't join us live and join the chat, but uh, let us know in the comments if you enjoyed that, if you thought that was a, a good model or have suggestions for future models. If you are here, oh, somebody's asking for a link to the forum. Jody's got that. Yep. Not a problem. Um, there it is. <laughs> there it is. Boom. Uh, uh, yeah. If if uh, if you were able to follow along, we still want to hear your thoughts too. So uh, we are going to wrap this up, but we will leave the chat running for another couple, four or five minutes. So uh, yeah, give us ideas of what you think would be good models, and uh, we'll come back in a couple weeks. Like I said, and we'll uh, we'll do something else. We'll do some other modeling like this, but get some more input from you guys next week. Tyson's going to be on here, and he's going to be modeling something. I don't know what it's going to be modeling, but it's going to be a thing. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what it is. <laughs> and, and I'm sure he'll be stressed about it in advance. That's right. He, he will, he will be, uh, he will be planning ahead. Uh, I just, I mean, it's, it's interesting. Cause I, I mean, I, I honestly legitimately hope you guys enjoy uh, our live streams. You keep coming back. So I think we're doing something right. We are trying to switch up what we show, how we show it. That's one of the reasons we have three different people modeling now. It's not just me every week, because um, who wants that? But we got uh, Eric and Tyson. All three of us model very differently, which is really cool, and have different focuses or, 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 or priorities in how we model things. So this is all and intentional. And different personalities, yeah. Some are, some are a super awesome, amazing, and, and you just come for that, you know? Yep. information secondary certainly. it's certainly not for learning how to do anything in sketchup <laughs> i click things oh <laughs> but uh but yeah hopefully you guys are coming back each week and catching different things from each of us uh we're really really trying to you know get a variety of things we're not trying to show the same thing every time so saying that to say three weeks from now we might come back and do some more part modeling from schematics like this because i really i mean i i will say this too um, I think it is a really good way to learn any 3D modeling program is to model something with precision. I mean, it's fun to go in and just kind of imagine and create shapes and, you know, uh, this is going to be a house or this is going to be a car or whatever. That's cool. But uh, really learn to use the tool by modeling something uh, off of precision dimensions. It's a great way to get a good handle on how software works. So, uh, well, yeah, give it a shot. Like the main thing we worked on when I was learning to do drafting was, you know, sort of one-off things like this. So. Yeah, absolutely. That's why the, it's so easy to go onto Google and type in, you know, uh, machine part drawing or CAD CAM study. So any any term like that will get you these drawings that you can import right in SketchUp and trace them. Great way to learn. So, all right, I've rambled enough. Uh, we are, just a reminder, we are coming up on 500,000 subscribers on YouTube. I know some of you guys are joining us on LinkedIn, Facebook, or Twitter, uh, the bulk of you, I believe, are still coming through on YouTube. If you don't subscribe, please do subscribe. Help us get across that half million mark because that's uh, that's our goal. We want to get there, and we're gonna do something to celebrate that. I'm not exactly 100% sure what something is, but we did talk about trying to show, do a showcase of some of your models based on the idea of 500,000. Kind of leaving that up to you as an open prompt. Uh, so we do have. Going on our forum, we have a little uh, a thread going on that, asking for, you know, what does a model of 500,000 look like to you? So we'd love to see those models if you if you can. We don't have a whole lot of models, so I don't know if that whole reviewing <laughs> models is going to work out if people don't submit some more, but uh, we're going to do something, something fun. I've, I'm sitting here unsubscribing and resubscribing to try and get those numbers up. Yeah, I'm not sure that's how it works, but uh, oh. it doesn't hurt. doesn't hurt, right? Yeah, it's not, not causing <laughs> us any pain. So 
uh, yeah, we'll call it at this point. Uh, if you don't, like I said, if you don't follow YouTube or if you're not a, a subscriber on YouTube, it's also just a great way to get a lot of good learning on SketchUp. We post videos on there several times every week in addition to this live stream. So worth checking out. Uh, yeah. So, uh, yeah, keep an eye on that. We'll be doing something to, uh, to, to celebrate that half million subs. Uh, but in the meantime, have a great weekend. Hopefully you guys swing by next week, see what Tyson's modeling. And uh, yeah, I'll be back in a couple weeks, uh, probably with Jody. That's how I like to do it. It's in my contract. Probably what it'll be. No Jody. Yeah, no that's right. That's it. No All right. So you guys have a great weekend. We'll see you next week. Have a great weekend. Bye. See ya.